Welcome everyone to my uh, first YouTube video. My name is JJ uh, and I'm pleased to welcome you into my little channel. I'm not really sure what this channel is going to be about so I figured why not start with something I love, video games. Uh, since E3 this year I've been looking forward to Fallout 76 so much. Uh, I know this release um, in the Fallout franchise is definitely going to divide the waters. Uh, therefore, I would like to tell you guys my first impressions of the game and how I felt when I played the first couple of hours. So, uh, Fallout 76 pins you in West Virginia, 25 years after the Great War. You wake up uh, after what seems to have been a big party. You walk through the vault and feel uh, the celebratory atmosphere uh, and glee that must have filled uh, the common room. Uh, then you walk past a lot of posters, robots uh, and such, and then you pick up some of the necessities you need to survive uh, the reclamation of the new world that waits beyond the Vault 76's door. After that, you emerge in a not so climatic way as you've done in previous Fallout games, but you still get the feeling that this wasteland is a massive entity lurking with dangers, stories, and last but not least, mutants. Uh, the setting is really beautiful though, um, if you have the hardware to render it, so to speak, or at least if you know how to fix the settings files and so on. But I'll get on with that later on in the video. So. Uh, your first mission is to locate the Vault Overseer. She has been leaving clues all around the first area of the map and uh, you keep on finding clues to her whereabouts at the next waypoint. Uh, this keeps on going for the first hour or so and then uh, more and more missions start popping up on your heads up display. Uh, soon you're almost overwhelmed with things to do uh, that you're finding it difficult to choose actually. Uh, nevertheless, I kept uh, on track uh, with the first story missions uh, and it brought me to the first town in the game. A town with no survivors, of course, except the at least 12 other vault dwellers roaming around talking, the, talking in their native tongue. Uh, I was actually kind of frustrated about this, it kind of annoyed me. You get the feeling that these guys have just left their microphone on and they keep on yelling, they keep on talking with whoever's at the other end or whoever's in the room with them and it's just kind of annoying to listen to. Uh, but never mind. Uh, I did the missions and almost immediately discovered one of the first flaws in Fallout 76. The missing NPCs. When playing Fallout 3 and 4 uh, you're always kind of surrounded by people or at least at the hubs in the game. So, so many of those people uh, have actual names, actual facial expressions, actual stories to tell. So this is what really drew me into the world of Fallout to begin with. I love exploring the odd people that inhabited the wasteland around Washington in Fallout 3. I, I loved listening to the Galaxy News Radio and find hints and, and rumors uh, to find secret places and so on. So. Uh, the story was kind of ever-expanding, uh, even when you thought that you were actually done with everything. Um, I remember I walked the entire map in Fallout 3 from left to right, starting from uh, the bottom left corner. I must have put at least 150 hours into my first playthrough. Man, that really was an awesome game, though. Uh, so back to Fallout 76. Uh, the missing NPCs and their stories are substituted with Hollow tapes, notes, entries on terminals, writings on walls, and so on. Uh, this gave me kind of a bland feeling to begin with, but the more I thought about it, uh, I started to find excuses uh, as to why Bethesda would remove such important things from one of their biggest franchises and uh, try and understand uh, this leap they actually took. I think Bethesda have thought about what actually happened when the bombs dropped. Everybody outside of the vaults died, or they were at least affected by it somehow, whether it was to escape the country or have their bodies radiated from top to toe and then change later by mutation. 
Uh, you pick up a lot of hollow tapes from survivors that tell their stories before and after the bombs fell. And when you reach the last mission waypoint on the map in a mission storyline, you find either another hollow tape, an entry on a terminal, or a note on a dead person. Uh, this really gives the game a cheap, free to play MMORPG feeling. Uh, I'm not saying that this is in any way cheap or bad, I'm just saying there are certain similarities. But then again, if we put the NPC thing aside and focus on the game's story itself, it really leaves you longing for more, definitely. Uh, you want to know more about what happened after the bombs fell in this region. You want to know the tragic stories of the survivors that once lived here. Uh, and even though you're only going to find corpses, skeletons and terminals, uh, it still draws you in. It still draws you in just enough so you keep on playing. And if the story themselves uh, doesn't draw you in, the world and the atmosphere definitely will. Uh, because Fallout 76 is the first Fallout game that introduces more vibrant colors rather than the green tint in all of the other Fallout games. This really shows a world that's moving forward rather than spiraling into decay or something. Uh, that's definitely a nice change. Uh, I've only played a couple of hours and I imagine that there are many parts of the map that have been blown into that familiar Fallout 3 or 4-esque setting. Uh, I've just yet to discover those areas and I'm really looking forward to it actually. So, <clears throat> um, how's the game performing in the beta? And I know a beta is not the actual release but they only have about 14 days to fix whatever's wrong with the game so I uh, can't really see that they are actually going to fix a lot of those things but the thing that annoys me the most or at least the short answer to how the game is performing in the beta is horrible or at least so it was to begin with as you can see uh, the textures, uh, the frame rate and everything is is absolutely dreadful. Uh, and my system couldn't push more than what felt at least like 25 to 35 frames a second. And, I, and, I, and if I was in a dense uh, area with a lot of foliage and buildings, the frame rate felt even lower than that. So uh, I didn't really want to play the game at first uh, then, but I kept on playing to immerse myself in the universe uh, as I've done. Uh, so many times before. I played for about an hour or so and I couldn't take the horrible frame rate anymore so uh, I quit the game, I went straight to the Fallout 76's Reddit page and started reading uh, what other people have experienced so far uh, and it was the same all over the message board. I kept on scrolling down until I found some posts that talked about forcing the game into full screen rather than windowed borderless uh, I edited the Fallout 76 INI file under Documents, My Games and uh, Fallout 76. And then I fired up the game and jumped into West Virginia straight away and was once again met with the horrible frame rate. Uh, albeit I lowered the game settings to low settings. I Alt F4 right away and went into the INI file again and changed the same things one more time. I fired up the game uh, one last time and I, and I was met uh, by a mouse cursor in the menu that was moving with the buttery smooth 60 frames per second and I cheered almost loudly and I started playing again and I didn't put it away for the rest of the evening. I was successful and I was a happy camper. Yeehaw! And so I kept on playing, I tried uh, a lot of the different things that Fallout 76 has to offer. Uh, I tried the public events, um, those are very similar to the public events that you find in other games such as Destiny 2, although they are quite uh, longer than those in Destiny 2. I think uh, I must have spent around at least 20 or 25 minutes in the first public event I played. Uh, that was that was pretty long, actually. Pretty long time. And then I went for the next missions to find the Overseer. I explored just like I've done in 
all of the other Fallout games. And now I really just can't wait for the next open window in this uh, beta. I just don't hope the game deletes itself one more time as it did the 30th of October. Terrible. So that's about it guys for my first video here on YouTube about Fallout 76. So thanks for watching. Uh, remember to press that like button and subscribe if you want to hear me rambling about other games. I really have no idea what this channel is uh, going to be like or where it's going or even what kind of content I'm going to create. So <laughs> I really can't wait to see though. If you want to see some gameplay of other games and hear my thoughts about them, please do comment down below and I'll consider uh, making a video of it. See you guys in the next one.